Hi, it's Will from StoneTheCastle.com, and I have the very first object that goes on our wizard's table. It is an orrery. O-R-R-E-R-Y. And I call it a wizard's orrery because it's going on our wizard's table. The very first thing. Fun. Uh, let's get a close-up look here. And an orrery is a device that shows the motions of the planets or celestial objects. Some orreries do all the planets. Um, this one does the sun, the earth, and the moon. And it rotates. The sun rotates, the earth revolves around the sun, and the moon revolves around the earth. All you need is one sheet of foam board and uh, some quarter inch dowel. And that's it. Let's take a look. Let's watch it operate here. See, there we go. Now see how the, the sun rotates, the earth goes around the sun, and the moon goes around the earth. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, what do you do? Hit that button. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model rockets, animation. I teach you out of your creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right. Print up the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. And the first thing we do is we make the box or the case or the, the stand for the orrery. And it's uh, just a few pieces. Cut those pieces out like this. These are the two main pieces, the top and the bottom. And then cut out the three side pieces and glue them on. Those are three inches tall. And glue the top on it. So now we have a nice strong base for the orrery to work on. And put a small piece in the back like this. That's three inches tall also. And it's one inch wide. This is for strength and support. So let's get to the gears. I have the gears. These, this is the main drive gear and you're going to make two of them. Place it on your foam board and trace out the gear like this, pressing firmly with a blunted pencil. What happens is it leaves an indent in the foam board. Now you can carefully draw those lines out and try to do the best you can. The cleaner you can cut these, measure, uh, draw and cut these, the better it will work. And don't forget to do that center hole. That's very important. You need the center of the gear. Now go ahead and cut both those gears out. And here's how I did it. First I did all one side all the way around. And don't try to cut it all the way through in the first pass. I've, I, I made three passes on each tooth and then uh, go the other direction to finish it off. And if by three passes, the first pass cuts the top layer of paper. So take your time cutting the gears. There we go. So now we need our dowels for all the various um, uh, motions. There's a one inch piece, a two inch piece, a four inch piece, and a six inch piece. That is quarter inch dowel. And you can substitute this with other size dowels. For the two largest pieces, sharpen one end to, so it comes to a point. Now that point is important because um, it's, the, it's actually going to rotate on those points. Now on your box, draw an X like this right in the center of the rectangle. So go corner to corner measure, corner to corner measure, and put a dot right there. Now use one of your sharper dowels, the large one, the six inch one, and uh, pierce that, pierce the hole. And we want this to be reasonably loose. Well, the dowel needs to spin very freely in that hole. So open it up just a little bit. And an important thing here is to keep it nice and straight. And then puncture it so the tip pierces the paper on the bottom layer. Because now it's going to pivot on that. It will pop, you'll feel it pop, right, like that, as it punctures the, the paper. Now that's our rotating point for our, all our planetary stuff. 
but you want it reasonably loose so it rotates nice and smoothly. So take one of your gears, put the dowel through it, your six inch dowel, put that through the hole you made, line it up, push the gear down, test it so it's smooth, very nice. Let's take the other gear, now we're going to make this hole dependent on your gears. Puncture a hole in the center, place it like this so the teeth match with a little bit of space. You don't want it to be a perfect match up tight. You want a little bit of space. It'll be for easier to uh, manipulate. And then do the same thing. Puncture through the top of the, the orrery box. Keep it nice and straight in a, as if it were a plumb bob. So it's going straight down, left to right, forward to backward. And then push it so it punctures the top layer of paper. And it will pop. Right here, there you go. And then test it. And you can um, smooth it out by um, sanding down those gears a little bit with an emery board or, or a fine grit sandpaper to work on it. Next is the drive wheel. Make one of those on your foam board and puncture both the holes. Now in the outer hole, the one nearest to the outer um, edge of the, of the disc, put your one inch piece and glue it in like this, so it's flush with the bottom. As your crank, hand crank, looks good. Glue it down to your drive gear. There we go. I like it. Work it in. As you work this in, it'll get better at operating. But that's, this is pretty good. But you know, tinker with those gears as you need to. Next we're going to do, all right, and once you've got it so it's working well, glue that gear to the um, dowel. So we want that gear to turn with the dowel, so glue them together. But don't let the glue go down, settle down into the box, or else nothing will turn. Next, let's, let's make the standoffs. This here in the template, make three of those, cut them out of foam board, and then glue them onto your box like this. And you want a little bit of space between the standoff and that gear, like that. See ya? So it doesn't get in the way of the gear turning. And glue all three of them like this. Very nice. Right at about 120 degrees from each other. Now the, I call this the earth gear, because this is the gear that the earth turns around. Trace that and cut it out. And this hole here, pierce the hole in the center and open it up a little bit by either um, wiggling the dowel around or using a pencil that's a little bit larger than a quarter inch because we don't, this gear is not going to turn we want it to be very free we want the dowel to rotate on that gear very easily see how that is there's no friction so go ahead and glue that gear down take your time when cutting these gears try to do the best you can and use a very sharp knife and replace the knife blade if you're using an exacto there we go. Next is the earth arm. I call this the earth arm. And the, the two earth discs. One is a gear and one is a disc. Cut those three pieces out and pierce them all with your dowel. Now we're going to use the four inch dowel and then assemble this little um, earth arm together and I'll show you exactly how to do that. That's, that hole on there can should be a little larger than a quarter inch. You want it to be loose. So let's assemble it together. Excuse me, did I say four inch dowel? This is the two inch dowel. Put the two inch dowel in there and glue it. 
put the earth arm on top once that glue is dried because you don't want this to stick and then put the earth disc on top now the key here is that that whole little assembly of the two discs and the dowel spins freely on the earth arm that's the key here watch I'll show you so you take a look at that you want it to be smooth and free just like that that's beautiful I like it now let's measure to get it correct on the um, earth gear match up the gears so they fit put a mark then match up the gears so they fit and put a mark on the other end of the other side of the earth arm Draw a line across them, and in the center there, pierce a hole. And this is a snug fit hole. Don't open it up extra. Just get it to the quarter inch size of your dowel. Place it on and try it. Might need a little work. Trim those, trim that gear a little bit if need be, but this is the most important part. You want that to spin uh, freely. And let me. So once you've got it spinning freely, spinning pretty good, glue it down. You want the glue just to be between the dowel and the earth arm, and not to get down into the gears below. And here's how you um, tweak it a little bit so it it moves smoothly. There's going to be high spots and low spots. Hit them with a little bit of sandpaper or an emery board or something like that till you get a nice smooth motion. I'm almost there. See, there's a stuck part right there. So now I will take those gears, that, those teeth down a little bit. So we get smooth rotation. Fun project. I actually made two of them. The first one was like a prototype. Remember, if you make this project, send me a picture. I will send you a, I will put the picture on my website and send you a certificate of contribution. Um, lots more wizard stuff coming. I've been moving forward with the wizard's lair. Uh, uh, and um, I'm having a lot of fun with that. But keep giving me suggestions. I want you to go in the wizard's lair and what projects should go on the wizard's table. So now, in the template, I have these pictures for you. Trace them onto some kind of a sturdy either index card stock or even like cereal box cardboard or something like that. The earth, the sun, and the moon. And then glue them onto the top like this. Glue the sun in the middle, of course. Glue the earth on it. And I put it at a little bit of an angle. I kind of like that. Because it actually is at an angle. That's why we have seasons, right? And then the moon goes on the outer part of the disc with a little toothpick, just like this. And that's it. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.